Okay. How would you explore it? Come on. How would you explore it? It's an interesting dream, of course. All of us don't have copies. Yeah, yeah I didn't. I didn't make so enough copies. I didn't make enough cough piece. You want me to read it? Oh, sure. Okay. A guy with a briefcase was showing me his products in a house that looked like a house my sister-in-law once lived in with a fireplace. He reminded me of a friend I had who is now deceased. We talked for a while. The more we talked, the more he reminds me of my friend. The similarity is overwhelmingly obvious with only one difference. The guy I'm talking with is not missing a leg, whereas my friend was missing a leg. We continue talking. Then he touches my hand and strokes my finger, like my friend used to do. Suddenly I realize this is my friend, and I leave. Please, jump in. Uh, <laughs> the last... Um Eight words. Suddenly I realized this is my friend and I leave. You would explore that. Yeah. Asking by asking what question? Um why did you leave at that point? Or uh, gee. what was it like when you <laughs> realized that was your friend? <laughs> Which one of the three do you want to pick up? You offered three, so. I'd say, uh, what was it like when you realized that was your friend? Do it again. What was it like when you realized that was your friend? Um, it was a very unreal experience, but yet it was real. More. It was. Um, God, I'm not sure about that word. So, real. What do you mean? Well, because a in my mind, it was like um, I knew he was dead. I knew he was deceased. In the dream. Yes. And when he touched me, um, it's like, this can't be real. It can't it, be. This can't be real. It can't be real. real. Yeah. But nonetheless. It was real. Right. He touched it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was that in the dream? It can't be real? Mm -hmm. Or was that reflection on it? No, that's why I left. Okay. And that's why I left? Mm hmm. Talk about that. What do you mean? Well. Since it can't be real, that's why I left? Yeah. That the realization that this was not real uh, caused me to say I had to leave because. It couldn't be possible. Yeah. Um, in the dream, what was that like to, to come to that? Like right now, it affects you, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Right? That's a key word, a key expression, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's like, um, it could, I wanted it to be real, but yet, mm -hmm. it, but mm -hmm. yet I knew it wasn't real. So it was like a conflicting, um, confliction in me. Yeah, probably, yeah. If 
but uh, there's something about that uh, that statement that moves you, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, how does it make you feel right now? It makes me feel like um, why didn't I want? Like why couldn't I believe it? Like why couldn't I believe it is possible? Yeah, that's interesting. See, why did I believe it was possible? Why didn't I not believe it was possible? Oh, oh. Why couldn't I believe it was possible? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a very powerful emotion, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're in it right now, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what is it like right now? Like something's holding me back. Yeah. Yeah, what does that do to you? It's like holding you back. I feel like a prisoner. I oh. feel like a prisoner. Like a prisoner, right, 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 right. Yeah. Caught. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unmoving. Yeah. Uh, say more about that. You're in it right now. It's, um, like, I want to break free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, but something contains me. Contains me as well. Like, um, like, me. like you have five words to believe this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would sound crazy. Or I would look crazy. I'm like, uh, if I <laughs> believe this, I'd be what? Crazy. Sound crazy, look crazy. You know, that comes with a certain power, doesn't it? Caring about what other people think. What? Caring about what other people think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially someone. That's a voice, isn't it? Whose voice is that? If I believe this, I'd be crazy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a voice. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You know that voice. Yeah. I do. Shall you mention at this point? You don't have to, of course. Well, it's, it's been, it's a repeating thing. It's, it's not just one person that has told me this about myself. It's many people have told me this about myself that I'm crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I go here. Yeah? Uh, where, which one? I go to this because I don't want to look like this. I go to this. Look here. Look here. What kind of people, what kind of people would believe that that's true? That I'm crazy? No, no, no. That this is true. That the dream is true. That this really happened to me in real life? <laughs> uh, that, that, I don't know anything about that. I mean, just suppose the dream is true. Oh, my gosh. Um, I don't think many people would believe it. Who cares? Yeah. I know you're talking about other people. Right. Right? Yeah. Get them out of the way. Okay. What kind of people would believe this? Oh, well, see, goodness. we're not yet putting a name on this dream. Okay. 
But if this were true, mm -hmm. what would this be saying about you and the dream? That I'm able to see people that are deceased? Yes. And in what way? In a whole healthy way. In a whole happy way. Mm -hmm. mm. What kinds of people are able to do that kind of thing? Midwives. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm so curious. <laughs> <laughs> They're the healers of the whole, aren't they? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's keeping you from being a midwife, isn't it? Not wanting to look crazy? Well, because if you're that kind of person, yeah. other people will call you what? Nuts. <laughs> Finish it? They would call me crazy and nuts. They mm -hmm. would... Um, <coughs> They're like, why would, why do you do that? Why do you even want to do that? No, no, no. <laughs> it has nothing to do with what you want to do. Mm. That's what, if this is true, that's what you are. Too bad. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well go with it. <laughs> huh. yeah. Interesting. Mm. In what way? Can you put a couple of more words on it? That is interesting. Um, I've always wanted to do something like that, where mm -hmm. I can help people and heal people. Yeah. And I never thought it was possible that you could do something that profound. Yeah. In the dream, are you helping him? I want to say yes. Or he shows me I helped him. Therefore, it's neutral. You accept, he offers, you accept. So why don't you just tell me at that moment, come on, of touching. Oh, my God, that was... Nothing else. That was powerful. I felt electricity. Powerful and... I, f I felt like electricity. Like electricity? Uh, I, I'm not familiar with that, so um, give me another word. Like I was struck by lightning. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Come on. Bam. Yeah. Come on. And yet, come on, more. This, this scares me to the point where I leave. It's, yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> right, you're, not, you're talking about the moment. You're not telling me the story. Why don't you... <sighs> it was... Um, Come on, look here. Let's do it over. Okay. Hey, what you doing? He's touching me. What's that like? Like, what the heck is going on here? Uh, you can see what the heck is going on. <laughs> yes. What's he doing? Showing he's showing me that he's him, that he's whole, that he's happy, that he is um, healthy, that he is free and young, even though he looks the same. Now, do the same thing, only tell me what it did to you to see that. It made me happy. At that moment. It made me happy. Uh, look here, these are the times you've been happy, right? 100% down, zero. Where do you put this? High. Up here? Top. Top. Yeah. Uh, what's that like? Makes me want to cry. Yeah, come on. Makes me better. That's right. Um, it makes me very emotional. Uh, makes me... Um, see, he's, he's touching, right? Mm -hmm. And that's connecting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's like a unity there. And this is an extremely happy time, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And that makes you all emotional and maybe even bordering on crying. Mm-hmm. Uh, dull? No. 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 No, it wasn't dull. Would you like to get back into that state? 
this this um, yes and no. Well, I'll take yes. And no. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take yes and no. But, um. Sometimes I wonder if um, the emotional side of me should be curved a little. It all depends. It depends on how it's functioning. Mm -hmm. That's all. It depends on how it's functioning. Is it blocking you? No, it wasn't blocking me in that way. It's moment. not blocking you. It just means you have feelings. I'm sorry to tell you that. I mean, it's very, <laughs> da very damaging to mention it, but that shows you have what? That I have care and feelings. It's got a lot of feelings. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know the name for that? Do you experience at that moment? Um, an overwhelming rush of emotion? Um... No, I don't know. Just want to. It's like an overwhelming rush of emotion. Oh, love. Yeah. What? Love. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, yeah. That's the moment you're thinking. Come on. Yeah, it's a tight. Yeah, it's love. Now that brought together all of the past experiences on a higher level, didn't it? Now this is love on the highest degree. Yeah. And if people knew that, they'd call you crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes. A good time to change your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Only certain people. Only certain. Yeah, ones. always a certain people. Yeah. Right. And we, Not we, everyone. And we won't mention their names. No. No, no. But we suspect. Oh, we, yeah, we know who. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. Who okay, so over here, the, the bunch of them. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. What do you think of them, Bob? I don't like them. That's because they're afraid of this. <laughs> yeah, someone told me about that earlier, yeah. 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 They're afraid of that. They're afraid of this. <laughs> what do you think of that now? Come on. I think I should listen to somebody else more often than this other person. <laughs> <laughs> so you're... Uh, Getting in the game of being a big wife, doing it. Right? Yeah, I was doing it with him. Yes. I was doing it with him before he passed away. Yeah, yeah. Talk about that. Um. <laughs> Go ahead. He was. Um, <laughs> I was. He was wife. quite in love with me. Um, and you brought him. And I brought him to see himself. Oh, thank you. And I brought him to see himself in a more um, profound way than he saw more, himself before. More profound way, right? Yeah. Therefore, you're playing a... I was, I was trying to play midwife as best as I could in the moment. And how were you doing? He said I was doing very well. Uh, <laughs> How are you doing? I was doing well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, what about, what about, you want to say more about it? I, I wanted, I was hoping mm -hmm. before he passed that I helped him. And now you saw? That I did. You entered the realm of the dead? And I want to cry again. <laughs> that's because you're real, that's all. Apart from that, you're okay. <laughs> yeah. Makes me happy that he's, yeah, good. That he's good. Makes who happy? It makes me happy that that's he's right, happy. That he's happy, mm -hmm. that you brought him through this, that he now could grasp what it is to be the self. Mm. To be himself. And his true self. True self, yeah. High up there. Mm -hmm. And not what he perceived himself to mm -hmm. be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. I love it. That's better. Thank you. Right? <coughs> okay. Thank you.
everybody have a copy? There's some on the table there. Okay. Take a look. Tell me how you would go. Would you put your finger on to explore, open the dream, right? Consider it. And True. it seems like such a contrast. True. Like, how can that be? So it's just a puzzle. Okay. okay. Someone else? Back row first, then done. I would ask, what was it like when she saw that neither of them was someone she knew or cared much about and then decided to go to the wedding? Okay. Don? Um, I was just going to ask, uh, what was the state of mind? Uh, when she agreed to attend to a wedding protest. So what number? It's number one right off the bat. Right off the bat. Okay. Tell me. Where would you go? What was her mindset? One? What was her mindset when? Yeah, which number? Uh, well, number six. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah. I just want I want to ask about, at the end of the first paragraph, uh, when she realized it would make little difference, what, was, what that was like. Okay, look. Where did the problem start? Every dream has a problem, you see. And you can open it up by seeing where it manifests itself. The last dream, this is the ending opened it up. This one, Don is quite correct. It's the first sentence. Okay. But what was it like in the first sentence for him? Talk about it in the dream. Okay. Um. Um, like I said, in the dream I didn't care about it, but someone wanted me to go, and it was like they wanted me to go, so I agreed to go, even though I didn't really care if I went or not. But, but I, I don't understand. Now talk about that story. Okay. Um, it's like what I'm experiencing now with <laughs> the work I'm doing. I have a lot of uh, pressure on me to keep doing things that I don't really want to do. But it's as if someone, someone... It's like pushing me to do pushing things. Pushing you, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. what, what's that like? Uh, 
uh, it creates a lot of, um, like, I'm on edge all the time. Um, I feel like a little bit more and I'm going to fall apart. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm really uh, anxious and stressed from it. And I can't, I, it's like a state of confusion. I can't think straight. Could do that again. Just yeah, it's a state of confusion. No, there's no, it's okay. Uh-huh. Just, uh, just say it again, whatever you want. Oh, all right. Um, it feels uh, like so much pressure. I can't think straight. I feel confused. And it's like frustrating. I can't seem to answer all the need, and all the things that people are asking me to do. Um, it's an interesting state of mind, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but where does it hit your physically? Back of my neck. Oh. Um, oh. And also, it makes me feel like I'm shaking all over. Oh. Yeah, okay. And I feel like I'm going to throw up. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the back of the neck like one. It's, it's really sore. It hurts. What? Hurts? Huh. Yeah. Go ahead. Hurts like what? Uh, it's just like deeply sore. It just... A deep sore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um... But what uh, you said has a, it's a pressure, right? Uh, describe that pressure. Um, <laughs> I just feel the image I have is like it's a whole line of people just standing in line waiting for me to, to ask me, the, tell me the next thing they want, then the next person is going to tell me the next thing they want. It's like I can't manage it. Right, 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 right. Like I can't manage it. Right. Mm-hmm. I guess endless. Yeah. Can't handle it. Yeah. That's it. That's a, That's the way it starts. The dream starts. With right. It, doesn't it? Yeah, and then everything else follows. However, in the um, in the this is um, in the exploration in the dream. It's just like I just go and do it. I just I just go and do it. They ask me to go, yeah, but there's this yeah. behind it. But I just go and I go to the thing they ask me to do, and I go. I go ahead. Right? Mm-hmm. Do what they ask. Yeah. You're familiar. That's a very important state of mind that you've had for a long time. Right. Um, how old is it? How old is it? Way back. Child. Three, four? Yeah. Now, if I <clears throat> ask you anything from this point on, it's a midwife talk. I understand. And I've done this issue. <laughs> Huh? Like I've done this same scene. I've done the same scenario so often. Maybe boring to people. I'm doing it again. I, do you, do you I'm all right with it. You're yeah. Okay? Yeah, I'm yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, what was happening when you were three and four? Just, I mean, whatever comes up is good. Yeah, it's the same scene. Always the same scene. I'm in the. Um, my my father and his friends are trying to force me. They're hurting me and trying to force me to do things I don't want, that they're doing things to me. Yeah. Uh, right. How did he look when he t- was trying to force you to do things you didn't want to do? How did he look? Yeah, that's an interesting piece because he had that sort of pleasant look on his face, but he was drunk. But he had this look like it didn't matter, and that he was just had a smile on his face. It wasn't, um, 
in the scene, he's not doing the things, his friends are doing the things, and he's just standing back and looking at it. As if what? As if he's... As if he, he doesn't care. As if, yeah. As if it doesn't mean much. Yeah, but he's trying to get you to do something that he has the look that it doesn't matter. It doesn't, doesn't matter, matter yeah. right? right? Um, and he doesn't care, but yet he's trying to do something to you, right? And this is the attitude he has. Yeah. Um, is it likely that uh, your mother is absent? She is not in, she's not in there. Huh? She's not there. Yeah, she's not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with this as a background, uh, given the way he looks, then go ahead. It just shouldn't matter, right? So then you do what they ask. Is that right? Does that fit? It fits. It fits from his point of view, but of course from a child, she doesn't have a choice. No, you try to drive, <laughs> you're, with, this, with this state of mind, uh, right, you're, you're a kid, and you're going to go along with it, right? Fine. Fine. Um, let's assume you finish talking about what happened, okay? Watch, this is what happened. Right. Okay, that's that's good. Uh, okay. How did he look when it was over? How did he look when it was over? He smiled. Sm same, the same smile or a different? No, it's like, like, good. That's done. It's satisfied. Satisfied. But um, not pleased with me, just in satisfaction. Just to himself, mm -hmm. right, 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 right. By the way, uh, does this uh, appearance that he has when it's over contradict the way he appeared in the beginning? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and you see that, you saw that. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, what did that do to you, to see that in the end he really... That is confusion. It's confusing. Yeah, it has to, doesn't it? Because it looks like it doesn't matter in the end. He's yeah. very pleased. Yeah, like he, he, won, he achieved it. He won. He achieved yeah. what he wanted. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, that's right. A very confusing. Right, achieved what he wanted. <laughs> and now you have to walk away in a certain state of mind. That's the stage. That's the stage. Is that right? Right. Oh, I'll be joined. Huh. It comes out of this. Say, at that moment when he was so satisfied, what, ideally, what could you have said? If you, had, if you could have. I know you're only two or three or four, it doesn't, but, but ideally, what would you like to have said to him at that moment? What is it with you? What is it with you? You acted like you didn't even care, and now look at you. You're all smug. Yeah. And what does that mean about the drama that he put you through? You were faking. You're, you're, a, you're fake. You're a liar. You're a liar. Fake. Come on. You hurt me, but you were pretending it wasn't. You were pretending it wasn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What what's it do to say that? It makes me want it. It makes me shake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's part of this, isn't it? Right? Yeah, shaking, right? Remember? We oh, yeah, that. that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And it, in what state of mind, though, shaking now, if you're saying that to him? Well, it makes me very angry. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sh shaking, but I'm really yeah. mad. At, mad. Yeah, because you're angry at what, what went on, what you had to go through. And that it was a pretense. Yeah, that's all a pretense. Now, what do you want to tell him? To voice the anger. 
well, I want, <laughs> I want to stab him. <laughs> I want to say, you know, you deserve a lot, you deserve a lot worse than being killed. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay there, look here. Man, man, man. Yeah, yeah. What else? Okay. Um, well, uh, you deserve everything you had in your life and far worse. And nobody should have ever believed you. And it's a pity you got as far as you did in your life. Yeah. <laughs> and that was a little child. Yeah. That was a little child. Yeah. Yeah. What name do you want to call him now? He's a violent abuser. Hmm. Good. Good. Yeah. How do you feel? I'm getting there. I'm still shaking. <laughs> and I'm wondering, all this dream is just like a padding for yeah. this? <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's Good. funny. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. All right. Okay, thank okay. you. <laughs> Artwork. It's a good one, too. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, let's make some notes. All right. As you read to the loud. Oh, I have. I have. Oh, you have it? I have good, it good, 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 good. <coughs> Ready? All right. There was a club scene like atmosphere, and two people standing side by side um, within a narrow gap at the opening, oh, with a narrow gap at the opening of the door, sorry. Um, someone I knew went through the gap easy, just like shot right through. Basically what it was, was uh, there was a doorway and inside the doorway, it was all just black. But in the opening of the doorway, um, I could see like a club-like scene, like lights and uh, um, different colors. And it was, it was black, but with all those. And then there was two guys standing in the, in the opening. It was like a square door. And they were kind of blocking the doorway, but there was a gap in between. So it was a, like a silver, silver uh, person with a pointed head went straight through. Pew, and it was someone I knew, I felt. And so it was my turn. So I shot through, but I knocked both of the people over and myself. And we both, or all three of us fell. And um, as I was getting up, the one on the right, which my sister calls uh, uh, acute, acute and, obtuse. and the other one was obtuse. What's that? One was acute, one was obtuse. What's, uh, the other one was a what? Uh, acute. Acute. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And geometry, right? <laughs> okay, <go ahead>. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, he started uh, basically. Uh, calling me a bunch of uh, names and stuff and making me feel like I was a piece of meat. He was saying um, just verbally things towards me, like just being really mean. And so the other one didn't do anything. I didn't even see its face. But the, the one that was screaming I saw its face. And uh, I got up and I had like a fuck you attitude and just walked away. How we 
would you go? What would you say? if he had the goal of going in after the person because if he did then like did you walk away into the thing or did you walk away out? No, into the thing. Like I, I was following him. I, I, oh. I was looking at the entrance after I got in. I went past him and I, I saw the, the, the entrance with the two people laying on the floor and I was looking at the guy on the right. And uh, and then I got up and had the fuck you attitude. I didn't say nothing to him. I just had that at, that feeling, and I just walked away and went went that way. And then that was it. That way, meaning inside. Inside, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Stumped everybody. Well, yes, please. What, what was your state of mind do, after you? Pardon me. Do it again. The state of mind. What was your state of mind when you? saw the other one going with ease and you went to follow, did you have the same thought of going in with ease? Did you? Oh, you yeah, mind? yeah. She brings up a good point because I told her the dream and I didn't write it down. When the first one went in, when the first person went in, the one on, on that time it was on the right, this time, and he was talking all this smack to the person that just went through. So I kind of, now I remember I kind of puff up like I usually do when someone messes with someone that I like and I, I think I might have knocked them over on purpose <laughs> no, at that moment you I turned into the person I don't want to be maybe anticipated something coming down the road mm-hmm. right yeah. So, uh, when did you first guess it? When did in I the dream? Get, oh, in the in the dream, it was right away. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It was right away. As soon as the person went through, I saw the guy barking at him, and then I, I, <laughs> pop up and. Yeah, yeah. So that's a clear insight from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. What was that like? Thank you, babe. Um. It's a comfortable feeling. It's something I've done my whole life. And uh, I come to realize, as a matter of fact, yesterday, that when I get upset or I get my feelings hurt, I uh, put this fuck you attitude, don't mess with me. And it, it makes people uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Um. Go back to that original insight. What was that like? Well, when I saw the person screaming at the other, right, right, um, right. It, it got me upset. Oh, and what did you suspect? I suspected that uh, I don't know what I suspected. I just saw him Screaming at my that friend. Okay, that's good. Yeah. yeah. By the way, did you answer the question I asked? Uh, what was that insight like? Oh, it was... Uh, oh, the insight when, yeah. I, when I had it, it was, it was yeah. good. Yeah. What I was that it. like? Um, it was finally understanding mm. my uh, pathologos. More. Uh, coming to terms of how deep it is in me and uh, something that I felt was a positive in my life mm-hmm. is actually a negative. Mm-hmm. And I never knew it. No. I never knew it. And then... Uh, That's an interesting state of mind. Yeah. So, uh, uh, say you had insights into your life before. Uh, where would you put this one? I put it up at top. Right up there? Mm-hmm. Right. Um, yeah. Because that's uh, a big one. It, uh, could I ask you again, what's it like in that moment of inside? It's beautiful. B- beautiful? Mm-hmm. Uh, but dull. No. No, go ahead more. It's, uh, 
Empowering. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, um, um. more? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. Uh, it's re it's what? what? It's re uh, relief. Relief. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's after. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, because now, now when I get in that state of mind, I'll be aware. Yeah. And of. Of, of what I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, hopefully, well, I will do something different. Yeah, but, but I do and do, and do something different. Mm-hmm. Than I yeah. usually do. Yeah. For the good. Yeah, for the good. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just wonder, it's curious to, you know, well, um, <clears throat> Uh, would you like to get back in that state? Oh, yeah. Oh. I want to be in that state 24-7. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Uh, what are you aware of when, at that moment? I'm aware of what I, what I can do, and I do something different. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't. But I'm going to be, I'm going to do something for the good. Right, mm -hmm. it's all positive. Yeah. I can achieve what I want. Yeah, yeah. And what I want is to, to, to know my true self. Ah. That's my goal. A true self. What sounds like that? That's what I'm after. Beautiful, powerful, empowering. Experience of what? Enlightenment. Of the self. Yeah. The brilliant light of being. Right. And you took care of this trivial problem with a, a dash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like yeah. that state of mind? I do. Yeah, now? <laughs> I do. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> so, um... Oh. 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 What's significant about the timing of these dreams? Don? Um, there's a uh there's a call, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I personally would like to answer the call, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it's telling me that I can do it. Mm -hmm. Kathy, uh, um, what's your, what about the timing of your dream? Uh, again, a call to do better things with my life. Mm -hmm. So it came at the right time? Huh, that's curious, isn't it? Yes. Oh. Oh. Uh. Belinda? Same. The call. The call. Hmm. Is it timely? It's very weirdly timely. Very timely. <laughs> very timely. <laughs> So somehow the dream master must have an interesting clock, <laughs> right? And says, hey man, this is the right time to send this one down to this dude and that lady, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Uh, what, do you say? what do you think about that? Joe? I'm curious about um, the order in which our problems are unpacked. Mm-hmm. Um, I now only see a pattern after years of dreams and midwifery that it, it would not have been the path that I wanted to take, but in hindsight I can see that 
Uh, well, you know, just put it bluntly, uh, issues with my pathologists that came from my mother's side apparently needed to be handled first, and now we're hitting father's side, mm -hmm. and it needed to happen in, in that order, even though probably at the time I did not think that the timing was right. But in hindsight, I can see that I could not handle the revelations that are coming now if I had not had the preparation of the earlier ones. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> but you've also, uh, it gives me a puzzle because you have told us in the past that, um, that we can ask the dream master. Yeah. We can make requests, I think you put it. <laughs> and um, that opens up a puzzle of a kind for me when you put that together with what you just asked us about timing. Because I guess the puzzle is who's doing the choosing? <clears throat> or Go ahead. like if, if I'm asking for like recently I really went through a lot of stuff and I said, Come on, Dream Master, I really need some insight into stuff that's hitting me in my waking life and you may want to give me other stuff, but I want to deal with this stuff. And um, it, it ended up uh, I I very much clearly that's I got my request. I got I got a dream that really opened up exactly the problem that I was dealing with. Yeah. But it wasn't was that the dream master's choosing or was that mine or are we the same thing? Ultimately? That's an easy question to answer. Barbara? Yes. There. Yes. <laughs> 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 Elder? I don't actually know that. Yes, I agree. Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're raising a great question, right? Um, Sure. What follows, if you can dialogue with the master of dreams, or whatever is the source of dreams, the master of dreams? What does that mean? What would that mean? Oh, you can see my wheel turning. <laughs> um, then, it, then I, I think it wouldn't be our role to put the dream to plant the dream, then we would be in charge of it. Let's look here. David? Seems like it would open up a, quite, a, quite a universe for you. A new universe of exploration. Would you not want to know how to do that? how it's possible, but if it is possible, we don't have to ask if it is, since it is. But uh, does this suggest, see, I use this word, dialogue. Mm -hmm. uh, so I took Jeff's question, his position. So he asked, what follows if you can ask something of the dream master? I pushed it to dialogue. Dialogue presupposes some interaction, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Not just a single shot. Yeah. So I raised the ante on this, didn't I? Yeah. John, what would you say? Yeah, um, I didn't have a dialogue with the Dream Master, but the Dream Master gave me a bunch of dreams that showed me that um, something about my prior life. And so I would dialogue with the aspects from this life that I felt were blocking me 
and I would say, okay, all right, well, if that's true, then why this, you know? And it helped me go through a lot of things that I felt were troubling me through my life because when I was young, I had a very strong sense of justice. Everything was black or white. And it took me a long time to to get out of that. And what helped me mm-hmm. was that learning that justice benefits everyone. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't yeah. harm people. Yeah, good. Keep going. And so, to me, that was the thing that broke the mold mm. and kept me from seeing, you know, hey, you know, it's not boom, 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 you know. And um, my dad was a military man, and mm. of course there was a lot of uh, strict rules on his children when he was around. And when he was gone overseas and stuff, my mom was the opposite, that she would let us go out and play mm. and do what we wanted. And so we kind of dreaded when my dad would come back. Mm-hmm. And mm. I got to the point where one time I actually knocked him out of the house. <laughs> of course, you know, this is the remedy of a child, right? Because <laughs> once the door is open, watch out. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay, let me ask you something. Um, What follows if you can dialogue with yourself? See, now look here. Thoughts come and go. Your experience, images, they come and go. Is it possible that um, there is a kind of voice that you can listen to that is quite different from all of these everyday thoughts and images and experiences? Yes. Yes. More quiet. Is that right? Yep. Add it's, words to it. Come on. It's, um, I, it, for, for me, it's especially loud. Yes, it's more quiet than the other voice. But it gets louder uh, right after uh, dream analysis. For example, if I'm, mm-hmm. if I'm going um, through a challenge which has the same problem that I explored, um, I will get a very clear warning in that voice mm-hmm. uh, that I shouldn't do that mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. I know what will happen if I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> mm-hmm. Um, um, see, that's the beginning of a dialogue, a warning. That's a good way to start it. Um, is there some way to tune into this? Come on. What do you have to do? To be, to, to you have to listen. Have to listen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what way of listening? Oh, come on. What way? What kind of? How do you? How do you listen? Well, Raphael. Uh, in our chit chat last week, uh, last Friday, Raphael mentioned it. Uh, the way he phrased it is um, that he had to learn to shut the hell up. But he added something very nice, which is this uh, state of absolute quiet and absolute 100% attentiveness. That's right. That's right. And you have to calm yourself down. 
right? Yeah. For this. By the way, does it offer any uh, suggestions or what's its content apart from warning? I think if I if I have a question, if so, I hold on to a question, then mm, mm. something is more likely to come up. It's more likely to say something back. Quite true. Okay. What kinds of questions do you find that that voice is most responsive to? Go ahead. Uh, Xenophanes. What, what? Xenophanes. Xenophanes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> what is that sees and hears and thinks? Yeah. Yes, yes, I second that. Second on that? Yeah, yeah. All right, so if you hold on to that, all right, What is it that sees and hears? And especially this one. Thinks. Right? What is that doing the thinking? That means you're pulling back from these thoughts. You're putting back and you're saying, hey, well, what is this? Where's this come from? What is this? That means you're pulling away from it, and therefore you can be more attentive. Uh, I'd like to know what kinds of questions. Go right ahead. Elder, would you mind encouraging your colleague, Jeff? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, Kevin offered uh, the highest, the highest questions, and I wanted to chew on it a little bit. But I, I think that the first thing that came to mind for me was um, the most soulful. What? What? The most soulful, whatever uh, is um, uh, weighing on me or puzzling me in the most uh, mm. urgent way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then you seek the puzzles that confound you. No, that, that, that won't be helpful. I, I have an example. Go ahead. Um, I, there's often a, a, um, a, a danger of getting into doing stuff that isn't really good for me and, you know, living out some drama. So I found a very good question to ask myself is, what do I want to do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's... Hey, what does it do? What do I want to do? That stops you from doing. Stops me from doing nonsense. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like... Um, uh, it, 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 it digs deep, T to put it in that way, it digs deep mm. Mm. and um, it, it allows me to, to, to reflect and come up with something good. Well, it kind of comes up by itself. What is it that wants to know? <laughs> and when you have a question like that, the obvious way to get a good answer is to ask Julie Hoygaard. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Let's have a cup of coffee and see what we can do when we come back. But, uh, by the way, the more you get into this curious thing called metaphysics, that's what will get you answers from the voice. A lot of fun.
Okay. Time for a cup. Oh, did I miss someone in the stream? Ever got them all? Okay, okay. <laughs>